The buildings collapse. The city changed. It changed permanently for all of us. The damage that was done to us is indescribable. And the most incredible, devastating, toxic side opened in New York City. During the process of removing everything from there, for 25 months we have exposed people to the most horrible toxins we ever can see or understand. Gradually it got worse and worse. I had a, what the World Trade Center cough. Almost everyone that was down here, whether you were just, you know, volunteering, giving out tea and coffee to the guys working, everyone had that cough. We were just inhaling so much stuff down here. I've never had asthma, and I was diagnosed with severe asthma. Uh, I couldn't walk up a flight of stairs anymore into my house. I, my bedroom's on a second floor. I had tightness in my chest. I had to get uh, my heart checked out. I thought I was having a heart attack. They put me on three different types of asthma medications. After the event, the uh, toxins took their toll on me. I found myself very, uh, I'm usually a very motivated, you know, upbeat guy, but it seemed like it took, took a couple pots of coffee to get me that way. Yeah, I just started to lose my motivation somehow, some way. It's not there for, you know, certain things, and it's tough. It's tough, and the kids are very affected with him when he goes to work and when he comes home. My 14-year-old uh, daughter had asked me, we were walking, um, and I said, well, off the cuff remark, I said, well, you know, you know me. And she looked at me, she says, do I? And that hurt me because what she was saying is, is that there was a difference. That I wasn't the man I used to be, I wasn't the father I used to be. They thought I was going to die. If they looked at my skin and the way I was breathing, they knew that I would be in, either on a ventilator or oxygen for the rest of my life. I've heard about the program from a few other firefighters and I went there, I was skeptical, didn't know what to uh, expect. and. Uh, as soon as I started the program, I had reactions, throat, skin reactions, sweat that turned black. Uh, I went through the program, feeling good uh, every day I went through it. We'd go in there every day, we'd take some vitamins, and we'd hit the treadmill, sweat a lot, and go inside the sauna, and we'd sweat some more, and they basically monitor our symptoms. And then after, I would say, six to seven days, the pressure in my eyes was completely gone. It was like, it was like I was giving my eyes back. Since finishing the detox, I sleep eight hours a night. I'm not angry, I'm a lot calmer, and I don't need my best friend anymore. Maybe we'll throw this away. Thank you. I kind of, I, I got my mojo back, you know, like I just feel happy again. And uh, I, I'm not taken away from everything that happened. I just, I just feel brighter. When I finally finished the program and I got home, I became fully engaged with my family again, my wife, my kids, and I realized that the poisons that were in me were now out, and that it had restored my quality of life back to what it was prior to September 11th. I feel that life was given back to me. My breathing is normal. I'm on no steroids at all. I can walk. I can run. My memory is excellent better than before I went to the program. And that's a gift. And I want to say God bless the detox program. This program do that. It resolves the problem permanently. It's not a remedy. That is a temporary remedy. And beside that, all of us have the responsibility to take care of this problem. Ethically speaking, today you may ask yourself, what did you do when somebody needed you after September 11, what did you do? I hope that you can answer that question many years after saying I did the right thing.